Three ways to connect the TP-Link RE700X using the WPS button, smartphone or web browser. Let's move on. Quick heads up, before you start, regardless of the chosen method, you have to make sure that your router is broadcasting Wi-Fi and connected to the internet and the power LED indicator on your extender is glowing solid blue light. And then you can start. The first and the fastest method is to connect using the WPS button on your router. Usually it's located on the back panel and you will easily find it because it's usually labeled also. So press the button on your router and then face the right side of your extender and press the button with the padlock icon. Do it within two minutes and what you need to do now, you need to take one of your Wi-Fi gadgets and scan your Wi-Fi networks. So you see this TP-Link extender network, this is the network, network of our device, uh, soon it will disappear and will be replaced by two another networks, 2.4G and 5G. And uh, that networks will be named the same as my name, the main rotor, but with the EXT abbreviation added to the end. EXT stands for extender. We have to wait. Yes, now we see the bands indicator 2.4G and 5G. And here, here is our network EXT and one more EXT network. Uh, that's it. If you see uh, your networks in your network list, in your smartphone or PC, but don't see these indicators, uh, don't panic, just continue and connect to your new network and these indicators will appear on next plugin. So now I'm connected. I can even check the network speed. Yeah, it's good enough. You know, uh, it will be slower uh, than the main network speed, but if you wish to increase the speed, you can connect. You can connect the device directly to your router using the Ethernet cable and use it not as a range extender, but as an access point. So it will increase your speed. Uh, but let's move on. The next method is a tad more complicated, but also gives you much more control. It gives you full control over your extender. So this is connection via web browser. Uh, to do this, first of all, you need to connect your uh, PC or Mac to the TP-Link extenders network. Go to your Wi-Fi networks list, find TP-Link extender, click on that, click on connect, and then go to your web browser. And in web browser, uh, type the following IP address 192.168.0.254. It should be in your user manual or just write it down. Now press enter and this action takes us to the login page. Here we have to create password. Click on the eye icon to see what you type in has to be from 6 to 32 characters. Let it be just simple. Admin and character number 6, let it be digit. Admin and the password is admin as well. You can create more difficult password if you wish so. Let's press start. Now we are in the quick setup menu and we have to choose which network we wish to extend. My network's name is my Wi-Fi, so I wish to extend this network. I need to enter a password. This is my current Wi-Fi password. Now I need to choose 2.4 gigahertz band and enter a password as well. Click on next. Check everything because if you enter password incorrect, the connection will not be established. Now click on confirm. Here you can rename your extender. For example, if you, if you wish to distinguish between different extenders for a bedroom and living room, you can to rename this extender. But let me stick with defaults. I would like to click on next. 
wait for a while it may take up to two minutes now you are ready to relocate your extender and make sure that you are relocating it uh, within the rotor's range. So uh, the best practice is to position somewhere at a halfway point between the rotor and Wi-Fi dead zone. Uh, then click on done and now you can connect to the extended network. Let's see. Let's go to the networks list. So this is my main network, my Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. And this is my Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz extended. So let's connect to the network. The password wasn't required for connection, but if you, uh, when you connect to a new gadget, I think uh, the gadget will require the password to connect to Wi-Fi and the password is the same as for your main network. So uh, now we can log in to our device to manage it. I don't want to go cloud now. Uh, so here you can manage across different settings, but uh, the most important is easy mesh. So you can connect your extenders and rotors into unified network. So uh, you will have seamlessly seamless Wi-Fi coverage uh, through your home and your devices will connect to the internet on the highest possible uh, speed. Also in advanced setting you, you can uh, control access to your networks, control Wi-Fi uh, coverage and so on. And what I recommend you to do is to create the uh, backup file when you set everything up, when you set your home network completely, I recommend you to back up each of your extenders. Uh, so if if someday you will uh, you will need to reset uh, the extender, you, you can save all settings and roll back to the last successful configuration and don't start from scratch. So click on backup. Uh, if you see this message, click on keep. And then you can download file to this to this section and click on restore and that's it and let's move ahead and the last method is setting up via your smartphone which is my favorite because this gives you control over the most important settings except for the more advanced ones which you can still configure anytime through the browser. Uh, so to connect via smartphone you need to download Tether application. If you don't have this application go to Play Store or App Store, download and install this application and then open it. Uh, now uh, next you have to log into the application or create uh, the TP-Link account. Uh, I will skip the explanation because registration is really super simple and you will manage it by yourself. But anyway, once you logged in, you need to see this screen which is named My Devices. And if you're not on this screen, uh, tap on the burger menu and go to My Devices. Uh, so now I'm connected to the router's network and I need to switch to the extenders network. Let's go to the networks list. Here you wait until you see TP extender network, connect to this network and once connected, go back to the application. Here is our RE700X, but if you don't see your extender in this list, you can tap on this plus icon in the top right corner and tap on add a range extender. Make sure that LED is solid on. Tap on this button to confirm and wait for the searching is completed. Now you have to set the device password to access its settings from different gadgets and browsers. Let it be simple. That's it. Then tap on next. And here to, you need to choose which network you wish to extend. If you don't see your network, just scroll down a little. And that's it, my Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz. This is my. 
this is my current network password. So you have to enter yours. And then select the 5 gigahertz band you wish to extend. Because maybe you wish to extend the band from different routers. Okay, check if, if everything is correct and then tap on next. Here you can rename your extender. Extenders network, same as in browser. But let's, let's stick with defaults again. And now just wait. Uh, sometimes the indicators on your smartphone and extender may show conflicting information. For example, sometimes, sometimes uh, the band's indicators are turned off on extender, but you see the networks in your smartphone. So I believe, uh, I believe smartphone and I recommend you to believe smartphone because if your gadgets see uh, the networks, it means it can connect to the network. So now let's check. Let's check if we have new networks here. No, we don't see so far. So, okay, uh, in this case, let's just wait for all signals to start blowing solid blue. And now we see new networks, my Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz extended. So let's connect to the network go back to the application and now you can relocate the extender uh, between your router and Wi-Fi dead zone don't forget to make sure that it's in the rotors range uh, you can check it uh, using this Wi-Fi indicator if it's blue the signal is okay if it's red you need to move the extender closer to the rotor then tap on next connect your Wi-Fi we already connected I'm connected that's it if you see no internet here you can simply fix it by tapping that's okay and from this application in the more tab you can manage your extender by the way you can here you can change the operation mode to the access point mode you remember i told you before and and a lot of more settings including one mesh by the way uh, so that's it for today guys Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Have a nice day.